For both astronomers and amateur sky watchers, the Great Eclipse of 2017 is a wonderful cosmic freebie. It's the rare space phenomenon that can be fully observed and fully enjoyed entirely without a telescope. But for all other astronomical work, telescopes, the bigger the better, remain the one indispensable tool. It's a good thing, then, that we're living in something of a boom time for telescope building, and some of the best instruments are being deployed in one of two places, Chile or space itself. Not all of the country lends itself to telescope construction, but the Atacama Desert does. Covering 40,000 square miles of the Chilean coast, the Atacama is considered the driest place in the world cloudless at least 300 days a year. Combine that with the tenuous air at the desert's 13,000 foot elevation and you get an almost completely clear window on the skies. And that has brought the astronomers flocking. Currently, more than half a dozen radio telescope observatories from countries around the world are at work in the Atacama. Newest and most impressive is the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, a massive installation built by the United States, Canada, Taiwan, South Korea, and a consortium of European nations. The array consists of 66 separate radio dishes and has the ability to expand to still more, all of them peering deep into space and far back in time. As for the space-based observatories, the 800-pound gorilla is, of course, the Hubble Space Telescope, but Hubble is also an old gorilla, having been in orbit since 1990. With no more space shuttles to ferry up astronauts for occasional repair missions, Hubble is always just one significant malfunction away from going dark entirely. The good news is that the venerable telescope is not alone. The most important and productive of the space flock include NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory, the Swift Gamma-ray Burst Explorer, and the celebrated Kepler Space Telescope, which has been in space since 2009. More exciting is what's in the pipeline, especially the James Webb Space Telescope, which will be launched in 2018. Webb is the instrument that will take Hubble's place, and it's an upgrade in almost every way. From its 21-foot diameter mirror, which dwarfs Hubble's 8-foot model, to its ability to do most of its observing in the infrared, meaning it can peer straight through the clouds of interstellar dust that often obscure Hubble's view. None of these observatories, either in space or on the ground, will answer all of the questions human beings have about the universe. But the telescopes are expanding our view all the same, throwing back the curtain of the cosmos a little more every discovery they make.